about you yes i am also fine so now today we are going to study about why rectus a shape which has four sides and it is a closed figure okay so many things we are discussing about this in our classes in our online nowadays uh, that offline classes are also being started here so those who are coming in that classes live classes they are also getting the help okay but those who are still unable to join for them try to join the classes and if you are facing problem then this video will be helpful for you okay so what we are going to say today about we are going to study about the midpoint theorem okay this is very important theorem and as i have said in the previous classes also this is this will help you up to class 10 in that there is one midpoint theorem same in the triangle chapters so it will here you are reading in the quadrilateral there you will read in the triangle chapter so it's very important pay attention see its applications okay so that is very important only so what is a midpoint theorem no need to explain more about that that even then one time i would like to recall this okay so the line segment joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle see it, it has come in the triangle but we are reading in the quadrilateral chapter <coughs> sorry is parallel to the third side and is half of it okay so this is called midpoint theorem and in the quadrilateral what main shapes are important here so the shapes which are important one is called rhombus then what is rhombus then what is rhombus so rhombus is also a see this is also a quadrilateral but it has four equal opposite side which are parallel and equal okay so this is called a rhombus which has four sides means quadrilateral and all sides are parallel area we have read perimeter we are knowing only so what about this rhombus then we have properties of a rhombus one time you may recall this also so rhombus is a quadrilateral and has four side four vertices and four angles whose sum is equal to 360 okay rhombus is a parallelogram and has all the properties of a parallelogram what are the properties of parallelogram see this also two sets of opposite parallel sides opposite angles are congruent and conjugative angles sums to 180 degree okay so these are the properties of a parallelogram which is also present in the rhombus okay Many shapes are there in the quadrilateral. This is a family of quadrilateral. Okay, so we have trapezoids, trapezium. We have parallelogram. We have rectangle. We have a square. We have rhombus. Just now we have red. We have pi. So today we'll discuss about this shape, the square. Okay, and the properties of the parallelogram we are going to use today in our video. So let us see that how it can be used. Okay, see this. Okay, question is saying that. Wait a minute. Question is saying that. Let me explain that question also. A uh, square is inscribed. I said now we will discuss about the square. So square is inscribed in an isosceles right triangle. Isosceles right triangle means a triangle which has two sides equal. Okay, two sides are equal. That triangle is called isosceles. Then it is right triangle. That piece one angle will be 90 degree. So basically, that is called isosceles right triangle. Now the question. The square is inscribed in an isosceles right triangle so that the square and triangle have one angle common. The square 
and triangle have one angle common then so that the vertex of the square opposite side of the vertex of common angle bisect the hypotenuse okay means what question is saying is that this will be one isosceles right isosceles triangle why because this angle will be 90 degree then one square will be drawn here so the vertex opposite to the common angle so this is the common angle here so this vertex will bisect this hypotenuse so this is the question basically so see how we are going to solve this before that now we are going to start here let me draw this big figure here So I am just drawing this figure here. See, the same figure I have drawn, I have explained also. Okay. So what is there? We will write what is given here in the question. In the question, it is given that. Right isosceles triangle ABC. I have explained also what is called a right isosceles triangle. That means angle B is equal to 90 degree and AB is equal to BC. Okay. This is called right isosceles triangle here. And B, P, Q, R is the square. Means it's all four sides will be equal. Okay. That means BP is equal to PQ is equal to QR is equal to RB. Then what we have to prove? Okay. That is also important. We should know what we have to prove here. So we have to prove here that AQ bisects AC means AQ is equal to that AQ is equal to QC, Q point bisecting the side AC. Okay. Why? Because Q is the opposite vertex of the common angle okay now understand here in this fig, uh, diagram also what is common angle so understand this is the angle of triangle as well as angle of a square and this is 90 degree all angles of a squares are 90 degree so from that point of boy this angle is common angle and this is the vertex of the square opposite to the common angle okay so this was the question only so now AB is equal to BC, correct? Why? Because equal sides. From that, I will subtract BR minus BP and BR and BP are same also. So we can say that AR is equal to BC, okay? These two sides are equal, okay? Now, actually, if we can prove it, the basic is that of this question is that if we can prove here that these two triangles are congruent automatically the opposite sides will be also equal okay so this is our main concern here and we are going on that track only see one side has come equal which side ar is equal to pc okay so this time rq First, uh, in triangle ARQ and PQC or PCQ, okay. We'll write, we'll write the three relations that will make it congruent. First is that only 90 degree. See here, this angle is 90 degree here. Why? Because the angle of the square, the linear pair, it will become 90 degree. We have proved AR is equal to PC. Yes. Then we have proved RQ is equal to PQY, the sides of the square. And then, just now we have said angle P is equal to angle R, angle R is equal to angle P, that is equal to 90 degree. So by 
side angle side congruency side angle side congruency we can say here that both the triangles are congruent if both the triangles are congruent here that is what I have in the starting I have said that these two triangles we have to prove them congruent here so if these triangles are congruent that means AQ is equal to AQ is equal to QC and we have proved also this was our main theorem also this was main question also that proved that the Q is the midpoint of AC or Q bisect the AC so we have proved here so in this way in this question what we use we use congruency we use properties of a square we use properties of a right isosceles triangle so so many things we have used here and then it has been proved also so next class we learn something new till then all of you take care come on time in the regular online classes okay don't miss any online classes take care everyone thank you class Thank you very much.